design is how to produce a painting that is. C'est du genou, ça, hein, Arthur Je pense que c'est du genou. Is it yeah. stone from the quarry? No. Because no. the quarry is like, okay, so... It meant uh, something, uh, it's, it's uh, the combat, actually. Ah. It was really important for him because when he came there, he wants several things. He wants the, uh, the, it's quiet, so he wants to flee the city, if you want. He wants to feed humanity. And there he paints nature. He paints also three main colors here. The ochre for the rock, for the ground. He paints uh, the blue of the sky and the gray blue of the mountain Saint Victoire. And also the green of the trees of the leaves. It's, uh, it's Cubism for now. Uh, Cézanne and Picasso never met. In terms of tourism, uh, Cézanne is the ADN of Aix-en-Provence because it's uh, uh, the most famous uh, 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 person in Aix-en-Provence uh, who made Aix-en-Provence uh, uh, shining uh, in the world, in the whole world. And uh, since this time, uh, a lot of people are coming uh, in Aix-en-Provence to uh, uh, discover the places where Cézanne used to work, where Cézanne used to paint, where Cézanne lived, where Cézanne uh, died. I visited the Cezanne Museum with a guide uh, who spoke English, that was a good thing. And uh, it was a wonder for me to learn so much about him that I never actually learned 50 years ago when I was um, a student. Um, the fact that Cezanne was taught to paint classically in the beginning and it didn't quite suit him and he opened up a new form of art for, uh, for all the artists who came after him. Et ce tableau, il est très symbolique parce qu'il représente une période intermédiaire, une période entre les deux grands moments de sa vie, c'est-à-dire l'expérience impressionniste de 1870 à 1880 et la période de maturité, cette période de maturité qui en fait le père de l'art moderne, comme Matisse ou Picasso ont pu le dire. Et ce qui fait la différence dans ce tableau, c'est que l'on voit les deux périodes superposées. On voit ici l'influence de l'impressionnisme, la petite touche juxtaposée, même si déjà à cette époque-là, pour Cézanne, c'est une touche structurante, constructive, c'est-à-dire qu'elle bâtit une architecture à l'intérieur de la peinture. Et puis, il y a l'apparition de ces plans colorés, ces plans colorés que l'on voit ici dans le lointain, que l'on voit ici au premier plan, et qui, légèrement géométrisés, vont devenir les facettes du cubisme de Braque et de Picasso.
So that was Wilfrid two years later and the summer movie. Oh. <laughs> yes. This is, he didn't want, there is one condition. And uh, one condition, you have to enjoy what she represents the academy school. And next, can be in the art river. Uh, dreaming for on the worst part of the city, Emile Zola. His father was here to construct. 